today four illustrator compound path functions that you need to know. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. Firstly, what is the compound path in Illustrator? Basically, we can group objects together using Adobe Illustrator. However, a compound path essentially groups objects together and allows an effect or a function to be shared among those objects. Things will make more sense as we go through today's four useful and need to know functions of the compound path. Here we have three circles with a gradient across each of them. If we select all three circles and unite them in the Pathfinder window, they're grouped together as one shape, but the gradient remains the same throughout the three circles. So let's take some steps back and I will show you just how cool the compound path function can be. If we select all three circles and then head up to object and make compound path, you then notice that the gradient then spreads over the circles like so. However, this isn't the end of the story. We can press A for the direct selection tool and carefully click the middle of the circle and drag it like so. You will notice that the circle's color matches the gradient as it moves. Like I said, these circles are linked together, but in a way that the effect has been shared across the three shapes. We can also head into the gradient window and adjust our gradient accordingly. However, we can also add another object into the mix. So by pressing M for the rectangle tool, we can generate a square above like so. Select all four shapes and then make another compound path. We will still have three more useful functions of the Illustrator compound path to look at in today's video, so stay tuned. To demonstrate the second compound path function, we have a blue square and two yellow circles here. If we select all of the shapes at once and then head into the Pathfinder window, we can use the minus front operation, which cuts the two top shapes into the bottom shape like so. But once this has been done, we cannot really edit the cutout sections too easily. This is where the compound function comes in to save the day. We can select the shapes again and then turn the selection into a compound path. The shortcut is Command or Control 8 on your keyboard by the way. We have the same effect, but the difference here is that we can now take the direct selection tool and edit the cutout section, but we can also move the circles around very easily. This is a form of non-destructive workflow using Adobe Illustrator. And on top of that, we can even release the compound path at any time like so, returning the shapes back to their original form apart from the colours. The third function of the compound path operation is a kind of extension on the last point in today's video. We all know that the pathfinder will cut a shape into another shape using the minus front operation. But instead of turning them into a compound path the normal way, we can just hold down the Alt Option key and then select the minus front operation. Like before, we can then move the invisible shape around using the direct selection tool, which you can locate by pressing A on your keyboard. The fourth and the final use of the compound path in Illustrator is one that I've shown before on this channel, but it's always good to be reminded of. Designers sometimes forget they need to turn a shape, or in this case, text, into a compound path to do certain things and to add certain effects. So for example, like making a clipping mask. Turn the text into a compound shape in the Pathfinder window. You'll then be able to place the text over your design and perform the clipping mass operation like so.
Once you've done that, you can then edit the text as you see fit, changing the font style and even the font itself. So I hope you have a better understanding of the compound path after today's video. And if you want to see more videos of this nature, let me know down in the comment section below. If you want to become a better designer and to raise your skill level in Adobe Illustrator, subscribe for weekly graphic design content right here at Satori Graphics. I should be back tomorrow with more graphic design content, so like and share this video if you do find it useful and you want to help out my channel. Sharing my videos on social media really does help the channel's growth. But anyway guys, until next time, design your future today. Peace.